Greetings and God bless you, my precious brothers and sisters in Christ. The Holy Spirit has guided you to this video today because our loving Heavenly Father wants to reveal to you the incredible ways in which He is opening the door to your blessings. Rest assured, our God is a God of abundance, a God who knows the depths of your desires, and a God who delights in showering His children with blessings beyond their wildest dreams. He is the God who has a specific plan for your prosperity, the God who has engraved you on the palms of his hands, and the God who is intimately acquainted with every need and longing of your heart. In this powerful message, we'll explore the profound ways in which God is orchestrating divine opportunities, favor, and breakthroughs in your life. Through the wisdom of his word and the testimonies of those who have experienced the abundant blessings of God, you'll discover how God is ready to open doors that no man can shut, to provide for your every need, and to lead you into a future filled with His love, purpose, and prosperity. When we choose to trust in God's abundant provision, His ability to exceed our expectations, and His desire to bless us abundantly, we position ourselves to experience the supernatural outpouring of God's favor and blessings in every area of our lives. So. If you've been struggling to make ends meet, if you've been feeling discouraged by closed doors and missed opportunities, or if you've been doubting whether God truly desires to bless you, this video is for you. And don't forget to share this hope-filled message with those in your circle who may be in need of encouragement, faith, and the reminder that our God is a God of abundance who can open doors that no man can shut and provide blessings beyond our wildest dreams. May the Lord bless you abundantly as you choose to trust in His abundant love, lean on His ability to provide for your every need, and believe that He is opening the door to your blessings. Remember, your current circumstances do not define your future. Your past struggles do not disqualify you from God's blessings, and your trust in God's abundant provision will lead you into the place of prosperity, favor, and abundance He has in store for you. Keep believing, keep embracing His promises, and watch as He opens the floodgates of heaven and pours out blessings upon your life that you won't have room enough to contain. Number one, when life throws unexpected challenges our way, it's easy to feel discouraged or question why God would allow such difficulties. Yet throughout scripture and the lives of countless believers, we see a profound truth emerge. God often uses adversity as the very doorway to our greatest blessings. Consider the story of Joseph in Genesis, sold into slavery by his own brothers, falsely accused and imprisoned in Egypt. Joseph's early life was marked by one setback after another. But God was at work through it all, shaping Joseph's character and preparing him for an astounding purpose. Those years of hardship cultivated wisdom, integrity, and leadership skills that positioned Joseph to become second in command over all of Egypt. Ultimately, he was able to save countless lives, including his own family, from devastating famine. James 1, 2-3 encourages us to consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. This perspective shift is key. Rather than viewing adversity as punishment or abandonment by God, we can choose to see it as loving discipline and preparation for something greater. Just as a loving parent allows their child to face age-appropriate challenges to grow stronger, God permits seasons of testing to refine our faith and character. In the fire of adversity, impurities are burned away. Pride is humbled, allowing God's strength to shine through our weakness. Impatience learns to wait on God's perfect timing. Selfishness gives way to compassion as we comfort others with the comfort we've received. Like clay in the potter's hands, we are reshaped into vessels fit for noble purposes. Moreover, adversity often repositions us for blessing. A job loss may lead to an unexpected career change that aligns more closely with our God-given talents. A health crisis might awaken us to cherish each day as a gift and realign our priorities. A relationship ending could create space for God to bring someone into our lives who shares our values and faith. 
Throughout scripture, we see this pattern repeated. David's years as a fugitive from Saul's jealous rage prepared him to be a compassionate king. Paul's thorn in the flesh kept him humble and dependent on God's grace, making him a powerful instrument for the gospel. Even Jesus himself learned obedience through suffering, being made perfect as our high priest who can sympathize with our weaknesses. When we face trials, it's natural to pray for deliverance. Yet perhaps the greater prayer is for eyes to see God's hand at work and hearts willing to be molded by the experience. We can trust that our loving Father is always working for our good, even when circumstances seem dire. He promises in Romans 8:28 that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. So take heart, dear friend, your current struggle is not wasted. It may very well be the crucible from which your greatest blessing will emerge. Press into God during this season. Allow his word to anchor your soul and his spirit to comfort your heart. Look for opportunities to grow in faith, hope, and love. And remember, just as dawn follows the darkest night, your season of blessing may be closer than you think. God is faithful, and he delights in surprising his children with goodness beyond what we could ask or imagine. Number two, when life seems to close doors in your face, remember that God often works in mysterious ways. By redirecting your path, he may be guiding you towards blessings far greater than you could have imagined. This divine redirection is a powerful reminder of God's loving presence in our lives, even when circumstances appear challenging or disappointing. Consider the words of Proverbs 16, 9. In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. This verse beautifully captures the interplay between our free will and God's guiding hand. While we may set goals and make plans, ultimately, it is the Lord who directs our journey through life. This truth can bring immense comfort when we face unexpected detours or roadblocks. Think about the Apostle Paul's experiences as recounted in Acts 16, 6 10. Paul, filled with zeal to spread the gospel, had his heart set on preaching in Asia. However, the Holy Spirit prevented him from doing so. At first, this must have been confusing and perhaps even frustrating for Paul. Why would God close a door to sharing his word? Yet, in this moment of uncertainty, God provided clarity through a vision, calling Paul to Macedonia instead. This redirection led to the establishment of the first European church, a monumental step in the spread of Christianity. What initially appeared as a setback became a pivotal moment in the history of the faith. Paul's willingness to trust in God's guidance, even when it differed from his own plans, resulted in incredible blessings, not just for him, but for countless others. Your own life may echo Paul's experience. Perhaps you faced a job loss, a relationship ending, or a dream that didn't come to fruition. In these moments, it's natural to feel disappointed or even question God's plan. But take heart, dear friend. What seems like a closed door might actually be God's way of steering you towards your true calling. God sees the bigger picture that we often cannot. He knows the intricate tapestry of our lives and how each thread connects to create a beautiful masterpiece. When he redirects our path, it's not to harm us or to diminish our dreams. Rather, it's to align us more closely with his perfect will and to position us for blessings beyond our imagination. This redirection may lead you to discover hidden talents, forge meaningful relationships, or find a purpose that resonates deeply with your soul. It might open your eyes to needs in your community that you are uniquely equipped to address, or it could prepare you for future challenges and opportunities that you can't yet foresee. Embracing God's redirection requires faith and trust. It asks us to loosen our grip on our own plans and to open our hearts to God's guidance. This doesn't mean abandoning all ambition or ceasing to make plans. Instead, it means holding those plans loosely, remaining flexible and open to God's leading. When you encounter a closed door, pause and pray. Ask God for discernment and wisdom. Seek his will through scripture, counsel from wise believers, and the peace that comes from aligning with his purposes. Remember, a no in one area 
might be God's way of preparing you for a resounding yes in another. As you navigate life's twists and turns, take comfort in knowing that God is with you every step of the way. He is not a distant observer, but an active participant in your journey. His redirection is an expression of His love, His wisdom, and His desire for your ultimate good. So, when plans fall through or dreams seem to slip away, don't lose heart. Instead, look for the new paths God might be revealing. Be open to unexpected opportunities and willing to step out in faith. Trust that the God who knows you intimately and loves you completely is working all things together for your good. Number three, when God orchestrates divine connections in our lives, He opens doors to blessings we never imagined possible. These heavenly appointments are not mere coincidences, but carefully woven threads in the tapestry of our destinies. The Lord, in His infinite wisdom, strategically places people in our paths to guide us, support us, and lead us to opportunities that align with His perfect will for our lives. Consider the biblical account of Ruth and Naomi. Ruth's unwavering loyalty to her mother-in-law led her to a foreign land where she encountered Boaz. This chance meeting was far from random. It was a divine connection that not only secured Ruth's future, but also positioned her in the lineage of Jesus Christ. Such is the power of God's orchestration in our lives. As we navigate our daily journeys, we must remain open and attentive to the people God brings into our lives. That stranger you strike up a conversation with at the grocery store, the new co-worker who joins your team, or the neighbor who moves in next door, any of these could be God's instruments to unlock your blessings. These divine connections often come disguised as ordinary encounters, but they carry the potential to transform our lives in extraordinary ways. The Bible reminds us in Ecclesiastes 4.9 that two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. This verse speaks to the power of godly relationships and partnerships. When we connect with others in faith, we create a synergy that multiplies our efforts and expands our impact. These divinely appointed relationships can open doors to new opportunities, provide much needed support during challenging times, and offer fresh perspectives that propel us toward our God-given purpose. It's crucial to approach each day with a heart of expectancy, knowing that God is continually working behind the scenes to align people and circumstances for our good. Pray for discernment to recognize these divine connections when they appear. Sometimes they may challenge us to step out of our comfort zones or require us to extend kindness to someone we might have otherwise overlooked. Remember, just as God is working to bring the right people into your life, He may also be positioning you as a divine connection for someone else. Your words of encouragement, acts of kindness, or willingness to share your talents could be the very key that unlocks another person's blessings. This beautiful cycle of giving and receiving is part of God's design for building His kingdom on earth. As you encounter new people, Approach these interactions with a spirit of love, openness, and genuine interest. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide your conversations and actions. Be willing to listen, to serve, and to step out in faith when you feel prompted. Sometimes the most significant blessings come from the most unexpected sources. Trust in God's timing and His perfect plan. The divine connections He establishes may not always make sense at first, but they are always purposeful. Just as he used Ruth's loyalty to Naomi to bring about a greater plan, he can use your obedience and openness to divine connections to unfold his blessings in your life. Embrace each new relationship as a potential gateway to God's blessings. Nurture these connections with prayer, kindness, and a willingness to be used by God. As you do, you'll likely find yourself marveling at the intricate ways God weaves people and circumstances together for your good and His glory. So step out in faith today. The next person you meet could be the key to unlocking a season of unprecedented blessings in your life. God is always at work, orchestrating divine connections that will lead you to the fullness of His promises for you. Trust His plan. Remain open to His guidance. 
and watch in awe as he opens doors through the beautiful tapestry of relationships he weaves in your life. Number four, when we find ourselves in seasons of waiting, it's easy to grow discouraged or impatient. But cultivating patience is one of the most powerful ways God opens the door to our blessings. In our fast-paced world that demands instant gratification, patience can feel like a lost art. Yet it's in these very moments of waiting that God is often working behind the scenes, preparing us for blessings beyond our imagination. Patience isn't simply sitting idle, twiddling our thumbs. True biblical patience is an active, expectant waiting, a deep trust in God's perfect timing and plan. It's continuing to pray, to hope, to work diligently, even when we can't see the fruits of our labor. As we read in Isaiah 40, 31, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This beautiful promise reminds us that patience, rooted in hope, doesn't deplete us. It renews and strengthens us. Consider the story of Abraham, the father of faith. God promised him a son, yet Abraham and Sarah had to wait 25 long years before Isaac was born. During this time, Abraham's faith was tested, refined, and ultimately strengthened. God wasn't just preparing Abraham for fatherhood. He was shaping him into the father of nations, a pivotal figure in his grand plan of salvation. Your current season of waiting, dear friend, could be God's preparation time for an extraordinary blessing that will impact not just your life, but generations to come. In our waiting, God often does his deepest work in our hearts. He teaches us to rely not on our own understanding or timing, but on his unfailing love and wisdom. Patience allows us to develop spiritual muscles we didn't know we had. It cultivates humility as we learn to surrender our plans and timelines to God. It deepens our prayer life, drawing us into more intimate communion with our Heavenly Father. Remember, God's delays are not denials. When he seems silent, he's not absent. He's intricately weaving together circumstances, people, and events to bring about his best for you. Just as a master chef knows exactly how long to let flavors simmer to create the perfect dish, our master creator knows precisely how long to let our situations simmer to produce the most beautiful outcomes. During your waiting season, lean into God's presence. Let his word be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Surround yourself with fellow believers who can encourage you and remind you of God's faithfulness. Look for the small blessings and growth opportunities in each day. They're often signposts of God's ongoing work in your life. As you cultivate patience, you're not just passively waiting, you're actively participating in God's transformative work. You're allowing Him to refine your character, deepen your faith, and prepare you for the blessings He has in store. Your patient endurance is a powerful testimony to those around you of God's sustaining grace. So take heart, beloved. Your waiting is not in vain. Every moment of patience is an investment in your spiritual growth and future blessings. Trust that God, in His infinite wisdom and love, is working all things together for your good. The door to your blessings will open, perhaps not in the way or time you expect, but in a way that will leave you in awe of God's goodness and perfect plan. Keep hoping, keep trusting, keep patiently persevering. Your season of harvest is coming, and it will be well worth the wait. Number five, when we talk about radical obedience to God, we're stepping into a realm of faith that can truly transform our lives. Imagine for a moment the incredible scene of Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, in a boat with his friends on a stormy sea. The wind is howling, waves are crashing, and fear grips their hearts. Then, through the mist and darkness, they see a figure walking on the water. It's Jesus. Peter, in a moment of both terror and wonder, calls out to his Lord. And Jesus, with love and challenge in his voice, simply says, come. This is where radical obedience begins. It's not just about following rules or going through religious motions. It's about stepping out in faith when everything in our human understanding screams that it's impossible. Peter had a choice in that moment, stay in the relative safety of the boat 
or trust Jesus enough to do something that defied all natural laws. And friends, this is the kind of obedience God is calling us to. He's inviting us to trust Him so completely that we're willing to step out of our comfort zones, our safety nets, and our logical understanding. It's about saying yes to God even when we can't see the full picture or understand the reasoning behind His commands. Think about Abraham, called to leave his homeland for an unknown destination. Or Noah, instructed to build an ark when there wasn't a cloud in the sky. These were acts of radical obedience that opened the floodgates of God's blessings, not just for them, but for generations to come. Now you might be thinking, but I'm not Peter or Abraham or Noah. I'm just an ordinary person trying to make it through each day. And that's exactly where God wants to meet you. He specializes in using ordinary people to do extraordinary things when they choose to obey Him radically. Maybe for you, radical obedience looks like forgiving someone who has deeply hurt you. Perhaps it's stepping out to serve in a ministry you feel completely unqualified for. It could be giving sacrificially when your bank account says it's impossible. Or it might be sharing your faith with a colleague when you're afraid of rejection. Whatever it is, know this. When we choose to obey God radically, we're positioning ourselves for His blessings. It's not about earning His favor. That's already yours through Christ. It's about aligning ourselves with His will and His ways, which are always for our good and His glory. Remember the words of Jesus in Matthew 6:33 but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This is a promise, dear friend. When we prioritize God's kingdom, his rule and reign in our lives, above all else, he takes care of everything else. Radical obedience often doesn't make sense in the moment. It might even seem foolish to those around us, but in God's economy, it's the pathway to miracles to deeper intimacy with Him, and to a life overflowing with His blessings. So today, I want to encourage you to listen closely for God's voice. What is He asking of you? What boat is He calling you to step out of? What impossible thing is He inviting you to believe for? Take a deep breath, fix your eyes on Jesus, and say yes. Your act of radical obedience might just be the key that unlocks a flood of blessings, not just for you, but for countless others whose lives you'll touch. Remember, every great move of God in history started with one person's yes. Your radical obedience matters more than you know. Number six, when we open our hearts to God's transformative power, miracles begin to unfold in our lives. The journey to unlocking our blessings often starts with a profound shift in our mindset. As the Apostle Paul wisely counseled in Romans 12 2, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. These words hold the key to seeing God's hand at work in our lives. Imagine for a moment the incredible transformation Paul himself underwent. Once a fierce persecutor of Christians, he became one of the most influential apostles after his encounter with Christ on the road to Damascus. This radical change wasn't just external. It began with a complete renovation of his thoughts and perceptions. In the same way, God is inviting us to experience a similar renewal. The world often teaches us to view our circumstances through a lens of limitation and scarcity. We become accustomed to seeing closed doors, insurmountable obstacles, and dead ends. But God is calling us to a higher perspective. He's urging us to see with eyes of faith to recognize the opportunities hidden within our challenges. This transformation of our mindset is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. It requires us to actively engage with God's Word, to meditate on His promises, and to align our thoughts with His truth. As we do this, we begin to see the world differently. What once appeared as an obstacle now becomes a stepping stone to our destiny. Consider the story of Joseph in the Old Testament. Sold into slavery by his own brothers, imprisoned unjustly, he could have easily succumbed to bitterness and despair. Instead, Joseph maintained a godly perspective, 
trusting in God's plan even when it seemed impossible. This renewed mindset allowed him to see opportunities for service and leadership, ultimately positioning him to save nations from famine and reconcile with his family. God is inviting us to adopt this same perspective. He's calling us to look beyond our current circumstances and see the potential for growth, blessing, and impact. When we face a closed door, instead of becoming discouraged, we can choose to see it as God's protection, redirecting us to a better path. When we encounter a challenge, we can view it as an opportunity to develop our faith and character. This renewed mindset also enables us to recognize God's blessings in unexpected places. Sometimes the door God opens doesn't look like what we anticipated. It might be a chance to serve others, an opportunity for personal growth, or a relationship that pushes us out of our comfort zone. Moreover, as we renew our minds, we begin to dream bigger. We start to grasp the vastness of God's love and the limitless nature of His power. Our prayers shift from asking for small favors to boldly claiming God's promises. We move from a mindset of survival to one of abundance, knowing that our Heavenly Father delights in blessing His children. Remember, dear friend, that God is not limited by what you can see or understand. He specializes in making a way where there seems to be no way. By transforming your mindset, you're positioning yourself to partner with God in bringing His kingdom to earth. You're declaring your readiness to step into the abundant life He has promised. So today, I encourage you to surrender your thought patterns to God. Ask Him to renew your mind to help you see your life and circumstances through His eyes. As you do, watch and wonder as doors begin to open, as opportunities arise, and as blessings flow. Your breakthrough is not just coming, it's already here, waiting to be discovered through the lens of a transformer. Number seven, when we consider the profound ways God opens doors to our blessings, one of the most powerful yet often overlooked methods is through sacrificial giving. This concept may seem counterintuitive at first glance. After all, how can giving away what little we have possibly lead to greater abundance? Yet time and time again, both in Scripture and in the lives of countless believers, we see this principle at work in remarkable ways. The heart of sacrificial giving lies not in the amount given, but in the spirit behind the act. It's about trusting God so completely that we're willing to let go of our earthly possessions, knowing that our true treasure lies in Him. This trust opens our hearts to receive blessings that go far beyond material wealth. It brings us closer to the very heart of God. Consider the widow mentioned in Mark 12, 41-44 and Luke 21, 1-4. Jesus watched as wealthy people made large donations to the temple treasury. Yet he singled out a poor widow who gave two small copper coins, all she had to live on. In the eyes of the world, her contribution was negligible, but Jesus saw the immense value in her sacrifice. He declared that she had given more than all the others because she gave out of her poverty, while they gave out of their abundance. This story beautifully illustrates how God views our giving. He doesn't measure the size of our gift against others' contributions, but against our own means and the love that motivates us. When we give sacrificially, we demonstrate our complete reliance on God's provision and our willingness to put His kingdom first in our lives. The principle of sacrificial giving is echoed throughout Scripture. In Luke 6, 38, Jesus promises, Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. This verse paints a vivid picture of overflowing abundance, not just a return of what we've given, but a multiplied blessing that exceeds our imagination. But what does this mean in practical terms? It's important to understand that God's blessings aren't always financial. Sometimes the doors He opens lead to opportunities we never expected. Deeper relationships, personal growth, spiritual insights, or the joy of seeing lives transformed through our giving. The act of sacrificial giving itself becomes a blessing 
as it frees us from the grip of materialism and aligns our hearts more closely with God's. Moreover, sacrificial giving cultivates a spirit of gratitude and contentment. When we learn to give joyfully, even from our lack, we begin to appreciate more deeply the abundance we already have in Christ. This shift in perspective is itself a tremendous blessing as it allows us to experience the richness of life regardless of our circumstances. It's crucial to approach sacrificial giving with the right motives. We don't give to manipulate God or to earn His favor. We already have His love and grace freely given through Christ. Rather, we give as a response to His goodness, as an act of worship, and as a way to participate in His work in the world. This pure-hearted giving is what truly unlocks the floodgates of heaven's blessings. As you contemplate how to incorporate sacrificial giving into your life, remember that it's not about the amount, but about the heart behind the gift. Perhaps it means foregoing a small luxury to support a missionary, or volunteering your time when you feel you have none to spare. Maybe it's offering forgiveness when it feels costly, or extending kindness to someone who can't repay you. Whatever form your sacrificial giving takes, approach it with joy and expectation. Trust that God sees your heart and will honor your faith. Be open to the many ways He might choose to bless you. Through unexpected provision, deepened relationships, increased faith, or opportunities to make a difference in others' lives. Remember, every act of sacrificial giving is an investment in God's kingdom, and no investment in His kingdom ever goes to waste. As you step out in faith, be encouraged that you are participating in a divine economy where generosity begets abundance and where the last are often first in receiving God's richest blessings. Number eight, when we speak of God opening doors to our blessings, we must recognize that sometimes the key to unlocking those doors lies in healing our past wounds. This profound truth resonates deeply with the human experience as we all carry scars from our journey through life. Yet, it is often through these very wounds that God works His greatest miracles, transforming our pain into purpose and our struggles into strength. Consider the beautiful promise found in Psalm 147.3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. This verse paints a picture of a God who doesn't simply ignore our hurts or expect us to push them aside. Instead, he tenderly approaches us, much like a skilled physician, ready to mend what has been broken and restore what has been lost. The story of the Samaritan woman at the well serves as a powerful illustration of this principle. Here was a woman carrying the weight of her past, five failed marriages and a current relationship outside of wedlock. She came to the well at noon, likely to avoid the judging eyes of others, but Jesus, in his infinite wisdom and compassion, met her there. He didn't shy away from her history. Instead, he engaged with it directly, offering her living water that would quench the deepest thirsts of her soul. Through this encounter, Jesus didn't just heal her individual wounds. He opened a door that led to the transformation of an entire community. The woman, once shunned and isolated, became a messenger of hope. She ran back to her village proclaiming, Come, see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? Her testimony was so powerful that many Samaritans came to believe in Jesus. This story reminds us that our healing journey is not just for our own benefit. As God binds up our wounds, He simultaneously prepares us to be vessels of His love and grace to others. The very areas where we've experienced pain can become the platform from which we extend comfort and hope to those around us. Think about the wounds you carry. Perhaps it's a betrayal that left you struggling to trust, a loss that seems impossible to overcome, or a mistake that fills you with shame. God sees each of these hurts, and He longs to bring healing. But this healing process isn't always instantaneous or easy. It often requires us to be vulnerable, to confront difficult truths about ourselves and others, and to surrender our pain to God's capable hands. As we allow God to work in these tender areas of our lives, we may find that doors we never even knew existed begin to open. The person who has found healing from rejection 
might discover a newfound ability to form deep, meaningful relationships. The individual who has wrestled with and overcome addiction could find themselves uniquely equipped to minister to others facing similar struggles. The one who has experienced God's forgiveness for past mistakes may develop a powerful testimony that brings hope to those who feel beyond redemption. Remember, beloved, that God doesn't waste our pain. Every tear, every heartache, every moment of brokenness can be redeemed and repurposed in His hands. As you courageously face your past wounds and allow God's healing touch to work in your life, be expectant. Watch for the doors that begin to open. Doors to new relationships, new ministries, new understanding, and new depths of faith. Your journey of healing might be the very path that leads not only to your own blessings, but to becoming a blessing to countless others. Just as the Samaritan woman's encounter with Jesus rippled out to impact her entire village, your story of healing and restoration has the potential to bring light to dark places and hope to hurting hearts. So take heart, dear friend. The wounds of your past do not disqualify you from God's blessings. They may very well be the soil in which those blessings take root and flourish. Trust in the gentle, healing touch of your Heavenly Father. Allow Him to bind up your wounds, to speak truth over your pain, and to guide you toward the abundant life He has promised. For in your healing, you may find not just a door to your own blessings, but a gateway through which God's love can flow to a world in desperate need of hope and restoration. Number 9. When you find yourself standing before a seemingly impenetrable door, remember that persistent prayer is the key that can unlock even the most stubborn of locks. God, in His infinite wisdom and love, has given us the incredible gift of prayer a direct line of communication with the Creator of the universe. Through this powerful tool, we have the ability to move mountains, part seas, and yes, open doors that appear firmly closed. Consider the words of Jesus Himself in Matthew 7, 7. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. This verse isn't just a suggestion. It's a promise from our Savior. He's inviting us to engage in a persistent, ongoing dialogue with Him. When we pray fervently and consistently, we're not just speaking words into the air. We're actively participating in God's plan for our lives, aligning our hearts with His will, and preparing ourselves for the blessings He has in store. Think about Daniel, that faithful servant of God, whose unwavering dedication to prayer shaped the course of history. Even when faced with the threat of death, Daniel continued to pray three times a day, just as he had always done. His persistence didn't just save him from the lion's den, it influenced kings and transformed kingdoms. Can you imagine the impact your prayers might be having right now? As you knock on that door of opportunity, of healing, of restoration, know that the very foundations of your obstacles may be shaking. Persistence in prayer isn't about wearing God down or changing His mind. Rather, it's about changing us. As we continue to bring our requests before the Lord, we grow in faith, deepen our relationship with Him, and develop the patience and character needed to receive and steward His blessings. Every prayer is like a hammer strike on that locked door, not forcibly breaking it down, but reshaping us to fit the key that will ultimately open it. Remember, dear friend, that God's timing is perfect. While the door may not swing open immediately, your persistent prayers are not in vain. They're being heard, treasured, and answered in ways you might not yet see. Each prayer is a seed planted in faith, watered by your tears and determination, that will one day bloom into a beautiful manifestation of God's love and power in your life. So don't give up. Keep knocking on that door with the confident expectation that it will open. Let your prayers be fueled by faith, guided by hope, and rooted in love. Envision the blessings waiting on the other side, not just for you, but for all those whose lives will be touched through you. Your persistent prayers are creating ripples in the spiritual realm, influencing circumstances and hearts in ways you can't even imagine. As you continue in this journey of persistent prayer, draw strength from the community of believers around you. Share your burdens, 
celebrate small victories, and encourage one another to keep praying. Remember that you're not alone in this. You're part of a great cloud of witnesses who have experienced the power of persistent prayer throughout history. Let your prayer life be characterized by both boldness and humility. Approach the throne of grace with confidence, knowing that you're a beloved child of God, while also submitting to His perfect will. Trust that even when the answer looks different from what you expected, God is working all things together for your good. In those moments when you feel like giving up, when the door seems more firmly shut than ever, recall the words of Galatians 6, 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Your persistent prayers are good works, dear one, and they will yield a bountiful harvest in due time. So keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking. Your breakthrough is on the horizon. The door will open, and when it does, you'll walk through it stronger, wiser, and more deeply connected to the God who holds all things in His hands. Your persistent prayers are not just changing your circumstances. They're changing you, preparing you for the incredible blessings God has in store. Keep praying, keep believing, and watch in awe as God opens doors you never thought. Number 10. When we truly embrace our unique purpose, we open ourselves to the magnificent blessings God has in store for us. Each of us is a masterpiece, carefully crafted by the Creator's loving hands, with a special role to play in His grand design. Just as a puzzle piece fits perfectly in its designated spot, we too have a unique place in God's plan that only we can fill. Consider for a moment the incredible truth found in Ephesians 2.10. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. This verse reminds us that we are not accidents or afterthoughts, but intentional creations with a divine purpose. God, in His infinite wisdom and love, has already laid out a path of good works for us to walk in. When we step onto this path, embracing our God-given talents and passions, we align ourselves with His will and invite His blessings to flow freely into our lives. Think of Queen Esther, whose story teaches us the power of embracing our unique calling. Esther found herself in a position of influence during a time of great danger for her people. Rather than shrinking back in fear, she recognized that God had placed her in that specific role for such a time as this. By courageously using her position to advocate for her people, Esther fulfilled her divine purpose and became an instrument of God's blessing and deliverance. Like Esther, each of us has been uniquely positioned and gifted for a specific purpose. Your particular blend of talents, experiences, and circumstances is not a coincidence. It's a divine appointment. Perhaps you have a gift for encouraging others a talent for problem-solving, or a heart for serving the less fortunate. These are not random attributes, but carefully chosen tools that God wants to use to bless both you and those around you. When we embrace our unique purpose, we often find that doors begin to open in unexpected ways. It's as if the universe aligns to support us in fulfilling our divine calling. Opportunities arise, resources appear, and connections form that we never could have orchestrated on our own. This is God's way of confirming and supporting the path He has set before us. Embracing your purpose also means letting go of comparisons and the temptation to imitate others. Your journey is uniquely yours, and trying to walk someone else's path will only lead to frustration and missed opportunities. Instead, celebrate your individuality and trust that God has equipped you perfectly for the tasks He has in mind. Remember, your purpose is not just about personal fulfillment. It's about being a conduit for God's love and blessings to flow into the world. When you step into your calling, you become a living testament to God's grace and power. Your life becomes a beacon of hope, inspiring others to discover and embrace their own unique purposes. As you walk in your purpose, remain open to growth and guidance. God's plan for you is dynamic and may unfold in ways you never expected. Be willing to learn, adapt, and step out in faith when He calls you to new challenges. Each step of obedience opens new doors of blessing and opportunity. 
Embracing your unique purpose is not always easy. It may require courage to step out of your comfort zone or to stand firm in the face of opposition. But take heart. God promises to be with you every step of the way. He will provide the strength, wisdom, and resources you need to fulfill the good works He has prepared for you. So today, I encourage you to reflect on the unique gifts and experiences God has given you. Ask Him to reveal how He wants to use these for His glory and the good of others. As you step into your divine purpose with faith and enthusiasm, watch in awe as God opens doors of blessing that you never thought possible. Your life is a beautiful story waiting to be written. Embrace your unique role and let God's blessings flow. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and hope. We believe in your infinite wisdom, love, and grace, and we trust that you have a perfect plan for each and every one of us. We acknowledge that you are the source of all blessings, and we humbly ask that you open the doors to the blessings you have in store for us. Lord, we know that your timing is always perfect, and that you will never withhold any good thing from those who walk uprightly. We pray that you give us the patience and faith to wait upon you, even when the road ahead seems uncertain or challenging. Help us to trust in your promises and to remain steadfast in our belief that you will provide for all our needs according to your riches and glory. We ask that you remove any obstacles or barriers that may be hindering our progress or blocking our path to the blessings you have prepared for us. Give us the courage and strength to overcome any challenges we may face, knowing that with you by our side, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Father, we pray that as you open the doors to our blessings, you would also open our eyes to see and recognize them. Help us to be attentive to your voice and to follow your leading, even when it may take us in unexpected directions. May we always remember that your ways are higher than our ways and your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. We thank you in advance for the blessings you will bring into our lives, whether they be material, spiritual, or relational. We know that every good and perfect gift comes from above, and we are grateful for your generosity and kindness towards us. May we use the blessings you bestow upon us to bring glory and honor to your name. Help us to be good stewards of all that you have given us, and to use our resources and talents to bless others and advance your kingdom on earth. We pray all these things in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Dear friends, as we come to the end of this video, I want to remind you that God is always working behind the scenes to open doors of blessing in your life. Even when you can't see it or feel it, He is orchestrating everything for your good and His glory. The Bible tells us in Revelation 3.8, I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. This is a powerful promise from God, reminding us that when He opens a door, no one can shut it. No obstacle, no enemy, no circumstance can stop the flow of His blessings in your life. As you continue to seek God and trust in His plan, I encourage you to keep your eyes open for the doors He is opening. It may come in the form of a new opportunity, a divine connection, or a sudden breakthrough. Don't be afraid to step out in faith and walk through those doors knowing that God is with you every step of the way. Remember, God's blessings are not just for your own benefit, but for the benefit of others as well. As you receive His blessings, look for ways to be a blessing to those around you. Share your testimony, your resources, and your love with others, and watch as God multiplies His goodness through you. Thank you for joining me today. May God continue to bless you and open doors of favor and abundance in your life. Keep seeking Him, keep trusting Him, and keep walking in His ways. God bless you.